this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com Well last weekend we went open water swimming for the first time and when I say we it was the first weekend of open water swimming this year because it's been so cold and we went to Liquid Leisure I think probably they used a maximum of two sheets of paper which I would say probably amounted to about 40 people going in the whole of the morning that's from 6.30 till 8.45 that's not a lot of people. I'm absolutely convinced that huge amounts of people are planning to do open water swimming inside the next four to six weeks and they're not going in open water and that is a big mistake. Acclimatisation to cold water is hugely important and we're vastly approaching the race season with open water racing really starting um, the middle of May. The people I took into the water, two of them, are complete novices. They've never been in open water before, never put on a wetsuit. Um, and they're doing the Ethan Dorney Super Sprints on the 18th and 19th of May. That's only three weeks away. Three weeks for the water to warm up, and it may not do that. It may do that, but if it does warm up, how much is it going to warm up? Currently, the temperature at uh, Datchet, where we went, is said to be 13.2 degrees, but that's only at the very side of the lake. When you get into the centre of the lake, that actually drops to 12 degrees. So we were swimming in 12 degrees as newbies and, if you like, an instructor. The fact is, if you go into water at 12 degrees, and these two newbies, who are not fantastic swimmers, did that, swam for about 35 minutes before they got out, the next time you go, and if it happens to be 14 degrees, that's actually going to feel reasonably warm. If you go in at 14 degrees, and that's the first time you've ever swum, that is going to feel pretty cold. If it raises to 15, 16 degrees, that's going to feel fairly toasty. The cold that you felt in the 12 degrees is certainly not going to be anything like the cold of 14 to 17 degrees, and it's unlikely that the Dorney Lake Super Sprints and races around that weekend and the weekends leading into the beginning of June are likely to be any warmer. So my advice to you is get into the water now. It's going to help you because everything else apart from the 12 degrees is going to feel that much warmer. But there's a few things you should take into account when you go in. The first thing is this. Um, I used uh, two hats per person two hats. I put on the thin British Triathlon one I had and the Jetstream Triathlon Club one which is slightly thicker. Um, two hats kept my head from losing heat and it's very important that you actually do that. Second thing that's important are goggles that are tinted. Now these are Zog's goggles that I uh, reviewed a few weeks ago and I actually wore these. Um, these are reactor light -like goggles and early morning, what tends to happen is the sun is very low in the sky so what happens, so you go in, the sun's not particularly bright but as you start swimming the sun becomes bright and as you turn into it it's very difficult to see unless you've got something like this which turns from one thing to another um, or you have actual dark lenses, you're going to find it quite difficult to see so a tinted lens or a lens that with a reactor light is the thing to do. Now these goggles in 12 degrees temperature um, are not quite as good as these goggles in 12 degrees temperature and the reason is these have a much more, the ones on the left to you, right to me, um, have a much bigger profile and what you get in 12 degrees you can get ice cream head and you'll note that these cover the whole of the area, I'll try and get that off my mouth, these cover the whole area of your uh, forehead um, so they actually do protect against that slight ice cream uh, head feeling which we did get initially when we went in. I got it just above the nose there um, with these goggles. However, once you get used to swimming that ice cream head feeling goes when you've got your head in the water time and time again and you do need to put your head in the water. Okay, the next thing you need, you're going to need either Glide or what I prefer now is this Two Toms uh, Sports Shield which you can actually add directly to um, your wetsuit. The Glide you add to yourself but it tends to wear off after a while and if you're in the water for a long time it tends to go. The Sports Shield does not wear off until you actually use soap and water to get it off. 
So I prefer that now for um, wetsuits because you can just add it to the wetsuit. It's exactly where you need it. And I certainly didn't get neck rub um, with my wetsuit when I used it um, last Sunday. The last thing um, that we'll talk about is what you should do once you get in. Firstly, you want to get used to the water. You want to breathe out into the water and breathe in above the water. And really make that very relaxed. So you're going... And you really want to get into a very calm method of breathing. And when you swim off, you want to swim off with that calm method of breathing, letting your arms move to your breathing and not vice versa. Next thing you need to do is practice your sighting. I saw, or we saw, even the novices saw, lots of people heading for a boy and going that way, then that way, then that way, and finally ending up with the boy. They were doing 20, 30, 40, 50 metres more than they had to to get to the same place as they would have done had they swum straight. Please remember, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Practice your sighting when you're not in a race situation, because when you are, things tend to go out the window, and unless they're habitual, you'll probably forget to do them. Right, so that's it. Get in open water. We've got a bank holiday weekend coming up. Make sure you get in open water if you've got a race any time in the next six weeks. You may not get another chance, it may be lousy weather, it may even get colder. Unlikely, but there you go. Remember, if you get in at 12 degrees, 14 degrees is going to feel toasty. If you get in at 14, 16 is going to be toasty. But you're not going to be comfortable until you get in that cold water. Two hats, good goggles that react to light or that are already tinted. The larger goggles for getting in cold water probably is a good option because you're not going to get that ice cream head feeling so much. Last thing, put on your glide or put on this sports shield, which I say I feel is better at the moment. There you go. Hopefully all of you will get into the water and enjoy it this weekend. We'll have a nice bank holiday weekend. There you go. I'll see you next week. That's all for this week.